So you select Canandy for your ERP. Um, tell me about the implementation process. Well, uh, that was a very interesting experience. It really reminded me of what's called a morale curve during a typical ERP implementation. At the beginning of the ERP implementation project, morale is usually very high because people were expecting new things and their life will be easier. Everybody was excited. Right. Right. Then over the time, during the implementation cycle, you start seeing the morale going down because um, people start to realize the application is not answer to all the problems they have. No application is going to resolve 100% yeah, of their issues. And plus, uh, Canandy or any ERP application will bring in changes to the organization, and changes are hard. Around the time of go live, or maybe shortly after going live, uh, usually you will see the morale hit the rock bottom. And then from that, if you have a very good change management mechanism, you start seeing morale picking up again. And um, it will surpass where it first started uh, in a short period of time. What, did you, what kind of process did you put in place to help when morale hit rock bottom to get people to really understand what, what Canandy could do for them? Yeah, so um, when we realized that, uh, we started uh, a change management process and uh, we started an initiative we called a Blue Book. Blue Book is basically a process Bible at BCD. Uh, it had references to uh, uh, Canandy for things that Canandy handles. It also has uh, 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 process details for things that Canandy won't handle 100%. So we started implementing Blue Book together with Canandy. And uh, at that time, uh, there, people used to have a lot of confusions. Like, hey, what do I do next? Uh, who's going to handle appeal from one point on, right? But once we started to have Blue Book together with Canandy, those confusion were going away. And uh, it was much easier for people to understand what's going to happen next and uh, how certain things uh, are done in the changed new process. And uh, very quickly, productivity came back and the productivity keep going up and the morale keep going up. Fantastic. What other impacts have you seen to your business? How has it impacted your business process? Yeah, uh, well, impacted the business process significantly, and uh, uh, we actually saw a lot of positive results. Um, one of the most significant results could be um, we were able to cut our lead time on some of the major products by 50%. Wow. In the electronics manufacturing world, especially when it comes down to IoT, you have a one small box that can potentially contain hundreds of components. To understand which components are on the critical path throughout the manufacturing cycle is difficult. Used to be a, a, a piece of art. Canandy turned that from art to science. So instead of we put our best people calculating the lead time of various parts across the manufacturing cycle. Now Canandy calculate that for us so our people can focus on shorten those lead time instead of calculating the lead time. So they were able to work with the suppliers to uh, cut some of the lead time. For instance, um, we have products that used to have a lead time of more than six months, and we were able to cut that into three, four months. Fantastic. And you mentioned about being, being global and having both sides of the Pacific. How has Canadian help you manage that? Yeah, um, a lot. So we're on the both sides of the Pacific Ocean, right? And our biggest enemy is not distance. It's actually the time difference. In the winter, we have one hour of overlap. And in the summer, um, there's no overlap. Now, how to use that short time window very efficiently is critical to the success of a business that has to handle things like that. Um, well, people used to spend a lot of time talking about processes, like, hey, uh, what's going to happen next? hey, can you approve that PO? And hey, this is the stage of the manufacturing plan. We no longer have to do that with the uh, Blue Book and the Canandy. Uh, then people can spend more time on more meaningful things, like products, like better servicing our clients. That means a lot to us. I was going to ask you about that. So now that your, your team is able to spend more time not worrying about the process, but the actual products, how has that impacted your clients? Well, significantly. Um, client satisfaction has gone up tremendously. 
um, we used to only be able to handle a very small number of clients because now we, we got a lot of inquiries from IoT clients because of what we, what we have done, right? But uh, uh, from time to time, we used to have to turn away business because we were simply not able to handle the volume. New business is good, but it's also scary. With Canandy implemented and Blue Book implemented, people's time can be spent on more meaningful things. And now we're able to handle more clients, servicing more clients in a high quality way. I would say these days we're able to service three to five times more customers than we used to. And w wow, that's amazing. So with three to five times more customers, has that impacted your ability to deliver the products? No, no, uh, not at all. No, that's the beauty of uh, a good process together, partner with a good system. Last year, we achieved 100% on-time delivery rate. Really? And this year, we're totally on track of that goal as well. So our goal is to service better clients, more clients, without sacrificing our quality. And with the help of Blue Books and uh, uh, Canandy, we achieved that.